And most of us check our pants pockets or la on laundry day to see if there's any money left. It's always a nice surprise to find some loose change. But what if you had hundreds or even thousands of dollars in lost money that you didn't even know about? Our financial contributor, Vera Gibbons, is here to show us how to find and claim some serious <laughs> cash. That's Good morning. Right. Good morning, Harry. Lost money? What do you right. mean by lost well, money? Well, for most of us, it is money sitting around in our coat pockets, money we've forgotten about. But I'm talking about You go to the much, couch. You yeah, lift well, up the cushions. There's That's There's always something in there. That's a loose change. I'm talking about the big stuff. Over okay. $30 billion sitting in the state coffers waiting to be claimed. Mm -hmm. This is money you lost. Yeah. Wage checks that were never cash. Dividend checks that were never cash. Rental deposits. Right. One in eight Americans has some money out there waiting to be claimed. One in eight? A lot. Oh, that is a lot. So th th I'm, there has to be a website, right? There's one. <laughs> one national legitimate website, and it's missingmoney.com. Mm -hmm. You go in there, you put in your name, you put in your state. The site automatically searches over 40 states. If this money is yours, you fill out the relevant paperwork. If it all works out that you're actually who you say you are, right. a check is going to be sent to you within a couple of months. And the average claim is 800 to to $1,000. Dude. So you want to take advantage of that. Wow. Worth checking out. Go to missingmoney.com. And, and is there, do you have to pay for the service? It's free and there's no time limit in which to get your money. Because well, you get these things in the mail every once Anything in a while that's that say. Anything that's charging you something. Right. Do, uh, red flag. Don't do it. Missingmoney.com is the only national legitimate database. I like that. All right. Now, another way. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, I remember when a child was born, sometimes you'd give somebody a savings, savings bond. Savings bonds, right. It was back, big back in the 40s, yeah, 50s, really. 60s. Here's the thing. $16 billion is now sitting around in unredeemed bonds. These are bonds that have expired. They're not earning interest anymore. They're sitting in your drawers. They're sitting in the safe deposit box. Right. So you want to clean that all out. Yeah. Cash them in. Now, to find out how much they're worth, right. you go to treasurydirect.gov. You just type in this series, whether I-bonds, mm -hmm. E-bonds, mm -hmm. the issue date, it's all in the front of the bond. Right. And it'll calculate it for you. There's calculators right on there. You can find out how much is due to you, how much interest has accrued over the years. Take them to your local bank cash them in. The banks will do it. The banks will do it. Your local bank will do it. Okay. A lot of people don't do it because they're afraid they have to pay taxes on them. Yes, you do. You right. have to pay federal. You're exempt from state and local. But you should be doing this. Cash them out. You're just giving the government an interest-free loan. You can do wow. much better things with your money. There you go. Now, speaking of Uncle Sam, does Uncle Sam, is he sitting on... Uncle Sam is sitting on a gold mine. <laughs> $1.3 billion due to about a million taxpayers who didn't file their 2005 federal return. To get this money, you have to file that 05 return by April 15th right. of this year. Otherwise, you're forfeiting it. In addition... Is this an old rebate? Is this, this an exemption? No, this is just people who didn't file the 05 return. The, the, the limit is up on that oh, money. Okay. In addition, you've got $266 million in missing stimulus check money and in refund money right. that the IRS sent out to you. Mm -hmm. You move. You don't have the correct address. It came right. back because of an insufficient address. Whoa. It's money just waiting to be had. And the average stimulus check right now... Yeah. That is MIA is yeah. over five hundred eighty dollars, and the average refund check that is MIA Man. is closer to a thousand dollars. You really need to sort of take stock of what you've got. Look for old bonds, and what, well, what it, should just now. check that website, right? Especially now because people are really struggling. So this is money you can't afford not to track down. Oh, Vera, really good. Thanks a bunch. Like it. For more information on lost money, go to our website. That's earlyshow.cbsnews.com.